Matt Santa Gapita, Santa Knows Best, and this is my take on four items that you can't afford to miss when building a new home. Number one, lighting. Number two, in-floor heating. Number three, Cat6 wiring or network wiring. And number four, outlets. So let's dig into it a little bit. Number one, lighting. Pot lights, inside or outside, let's just be honest, call it what it is, they're hell to put in down the road. Don't skimp, just put them in. If you want them, do it. Under cabinet lighting in your kitchen. Let's be honest, the kitchen's the heart of your home, that's where you entertain, you want your kitchen to pop. Don't skimp, do under cabinet lighting, it's an absolute must. An accent pot light if you're into art, or if you want to accent wall where you do maybe like stone or something like that on the wall, it's also a really big one that we've seen. Back to the outside, carriage lights, either traditional or modern, depending on the look of your home. It does give a nice vibe at night and kind of gives, uh, can give a more elegant feel on the outside. On to in-floor heating. Most people just think the obvious master on suite. If you've got a mudroom, it's an epic spot to put in-floor heating, especially up in Canada where we have some crazy winters. It'll dry off the water really quick. The other one is a laundry room. Um, when you think about it, when you're doing the laundry, a lot of the times, you know, you might be in bare feet or whatnot. Let's heat up that floor. It's a super awesome spot. Um, Cat6 wiring or network wiring. That's that little funny blue wires that, you know, you plug into your laptop and whatnot. Super important. Every bedroom needs one. Your office needs one. Your den needs one. I'm gonna actually say every room in your home needs one, especially behind your TV. Every TV you buy nowadays is a smart TV. You don't want it on Wi-Fi. You want it directly plugged in and lastly is outlets best spot to add outlets the master bedroom you need four on each side of the bed after all the second you put in a lamp and an alarm clock a regular receptacle is full everybody has a cell phone or a kindle or a laptop you need more electrical options in your bedroom how about a receptacle in the floor of your living room if you want floor lamps Soffit plugs. So if you're in a two-story, that's not just one on the main floor in your soffits, that's also on your second floor in the soffits, and you're gonna wanna probably put them on a split switch so you can control both outlets separately. So the other thing is USB. So everybody has a smartphone, and you notice now you can actually pull your wire apart off the kind of like main body, we'll call it. Throw in a couple of those in areas where you're charging your phone. Mudroom is a super awesome spot for that. Even in your bedroom, it's a great spot. So again, Matt Santa Gapita, Santa Knows Best, and this is my take on four epic must-have electrical items when you're building a new home.